well, there's some studs out there who really think that they're men, but. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am reacting to Told Easy, I Just Wanna Be Friends, after her little stunt. So this is Natalie's retaliation after the caught stealing $60,000 chain where the quote-unquote gang bangers approached them inside of Blue Moon, the jewelry store. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's see how Natalie coming back. Like, I really feel like we were better off as best friends because then at least- Easy looking stuff. Like, I didn't have to expect you to protect me. But now that we're actually in a relationship and I can see that you're not smart enough to protect me in a situation like this and not let stuff like this happen, She's going I can't him. be She's with going somebody him. like that. I feel like, I mean, we were just better off as best friends. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. What's up, Easy gang? Gang, 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 gang. Okay, okay, y'all, real quick, I gotta talk fast, all right? So, I know y'all probably just saw the video where Easy set me up to make it seem like I was stealing and it went terribly south. It could have been worse. I think we can all agree that it could have been worse. If you haven't seen my reaction to that video already, I uploaded it yesterday, so definitely check that out. But I think when you're dealing with situations like this and there's unexpected elements, Easy did the best that she could. Somebody literally was trying to jack her Rolex. It was insane. So I'm trying to get her back, all right? We just gonna do a back-to-back -back real quick. I was really mad in real life. I know y'all can see, watch the video in slow-mo like i was so hot about what was happening and i really do feel like she took it a little too far so i'm about to get her back and basically tell her that i just want to told y'all it looked like there was a million things going through natalie head because you have to balance okay is this a prank are these dudes really trying to rob her like what is going on right now be friends like after all of this all this cranking back and forth and stuff i just honestly i can't handle it anymore i think we're better off as best friends and i'm just really gonna i'm also gonna be like you know what i don't even really feel like you were trying to protect me like i'm gonna I'm I'm just go too far i'm gonna go too far i think easy did try to actually protect her i said that in my reaction video that i did yesterday when the like i guess you could say situation popped off when it started to go left and the aggressors approached easy they did easy did stand in front of natalie to kind of protect her a little bit and then she said that it was a prank so i think easy did the best that she could in that situation without completely ruining the content or escalating the situation even more but i could tell natalie about to go ham she don't like that she just got guy karma really hurt her feelings so let's do it y'all i'm not gonna lie that prank was so good and it wasn't even the fact that like the main prank was fire it was a fire idea but it could not have been set up as perfectly as having these literally gangbangers trying to rob easy at the same we'll just put their business on front street natalie damn time right now i really am gonna just get her back i'm gonna just really make her think like it's the, it's over it's the end oh, hi there welcome to forward come on in i'm dr nate favini i'm our med Oh, so this is right after, right after, because in the corner you can see Jerome, the security guard from Blue Moon, and you can even see like the Blue Moon sign a little bit right above his head. So they, they're still parked up outside. Okay. Bruh, Natalie that not wasting crazy. no time. They want to bring me on my chain. Tell me that wasn't crazy. That was, tell, me that wasn't crazy. tell me that wasn't crazy. good. Tell me that wasn't good though. It was too crazy. What? Okay, yeah, they, but the thing is. Yeah. Pluto in the back looking like he needs some water. Y'all done had him out. He been walking in the store. He was roaming around. He looked like he ready to go home. I understand them. No, I didn't, I I didn't tell them. I didn't understand no, nothing. No, but listen. You put baby. us in harm's way. No, baby, listen, listen real quick. I literally felt like, you know, they are super, super close with Blue Moon. You know what I'm saying? So they was trying to get the chain up off you. But, but. They was trying to get a little bit more than the chain. They was trying to take that Rolex too. Cause they, they definitely did say run the watch. But nobody was harmed or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? They were just trying to get the chain. And, you know, it was stuff. not, they were not just trying to get the chain. They were trying to rob you at the same time. Maybe. First of all, secondly. They thought I was robbing them. Yeah, I don't care. So they were trying to rob, take the chain back and take your jewelry? Baby, that it's was not, funny though. No, it was, no, it it was not funny. funny. It's not funny. Fun. You literally, it could have went south. It could have went really south, all right? And like, honestly, 
jokes aside, I do understand where Natalie is coming from. Obviously, she's prank pranking Easy right now, but it could have gone left. But I will give Easy all the kudos because in these types of situations where things don't go as planned, she's proven time and time again that she can defuse a situation. She can defuse the hell out of a situation and not cause it to escalate because it would have went left if once they had become aggressive. If she was aggressive right back, that would have just made the whole situation a lot worse and who knows what could have happened. But since Easy is good at diffusing those types of situations and keeping her cool, the situation played out the way that it did. They got their content, everybody was good. I'm sorry, but no. But in real life, you should be confident with the person that you're stepping out with. Like, have a little bit of confidence that if something did pop off, they could protect you. Man, woman, stud, femme, doesn't matter. They, them. Pray, we literally do it, baby. You literally just pranked yeah, a but lie. I already, Yes, but you were not put in harm's way. It's different whenever we're doing pranks. We know what the territory comes with. Oh but at the same God. time, like I would never do something and do something like this in a place where you could possibly be hurt. All right. Okay, baby. So I literally, where, that's why and, I then, and then even when this situation was happening, you weren't even trying to protect me. What? I was telling them, like, yo, it's a prank. Immediately, everybody started laughing. Nah, bro. Baby, what are you talking no. about? No. I, I can tell you didn't care. You cared more about your Rolex than you cared about me. Wait, what? <sighs> Baby, I literally, as soon as I had to tell them, okay, it's a prank, everybody started laughing, baby. Nah. What? We nah. literally do this. Come on, baby. You're not that mad. Honestly, I don't know. You're not that mad. Come on. Nah. You don't know what. Baby, it was a, it was a joke. No. It was a jokey joke. Everybody laughed. The guy came up like I'm sorry. A jokey joke. Sorry, I was literally just trying to get the get the necklace from you. Like, baby, they thought I was stealing. It's okay. Yeah, I don't Everything care. Was... Nah, I honestly, like, this just really opened my eyes to a lot, to be honest. Baby, it was a joke. You, no. I mean, you wouldn't steal. I wouldn't steal. Stop. No. Stop it. Let me stop. No, I'm trying to talk to you. I feel like, baby, it's okay. To be honest, like, I just need to feel protected, you know. And I feel like you know, I got I my peace like, on me, baby. Yeah, but you weren't. What well, peace? Easy got a peace. Let me find out. Easy walking around LA strap. You were ready to use it. You were ready to let me get my ass beat. There was two well, officers there with guns. One of them was in on it. That wouldn't have happened. And then the guys were trying to protect the shop. That's they Look, people. Here's the thing. Baby, nothing would have happened thing. to me. Nah, baby. yeah. I mean, nothing would have happened to me because I was ready to protect myself. Natalie was ready to put the paws on whoever whoever was trying to come at Easy. I think if Easy ever got into a fight, I think Natalie would jump in. She she looks like the ride or die type. But you weren't ready to protect me, and honestly, like that, I just feel like I just feel like this isn't working. What's not working? You being out here, we can go home, right? After no, this. like us yeah. actually being together. Like I really feel like we were better off as best friends because then at least. Like, I didn't have to expect you to protect me. I didn't have to expect, like... Are you serious? Natalie's going ham. That's why Easy's face, facial expression changed. She was trying to be cute, you know, smooth it over at first. Now she see Natalie's really mad. It's this, not that serious. It is that, it is, it is that serious. No, it's not. It is that serious. You it don't is. understand because... You don't understand because you, um, you're you're supposed to be the protector. You don't need to date somebody that can protect you. I feel like I need to be with somebody that can protect me, and you just proved to me that you not you cannot, and and you do not make smart decisions. You put me in harm's way. I feel like this, all these what? pranks and stuff. She's going ham. Easy as speechless. She don't even know what to say anymore. We're all good and stuff. But now that we're actually in a relationship and I can see that you're not smart enough to protect me in a situation like this and not let stuff like this happen, I can't be with somebody like that. I feel like, I mean, we were just better off as best friends. We, You know what I'm saying? Like, we can just... Okay. All right, baby. Look, I really feel like I understand your emotions are heightened right now. It seems as though, like... Toward the end, it seemed like you were laughing. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that, you know, we always go above and beyond for pranks. I was you know laughing because I was in a uncomfortable position. Like, okay, baby. Well, I was sorry. laughing okay. because all these people are like, oh, it was 
I'm sorry. So I'm like laughing and stuff, but really I wanted to swing on everyone, like, and including you because- I Told y'all Natalie was ready to break out the pause. She was gonna put the pause on everybody involved. Yes. Stressing her out. You put me in that position. Okay, baby, and I'm sorry, baby, but you talking about going back to best friends for what? Baby, stop it. Come here, baby. Easy, I'll take I'm you sorry. Home, baby. No, I just don't want to be together. I don't want to be with you. Yes, you do. It was, it was a joke. I'm sorry. If that's the case, I will never prank you again. If you really go that deep, I promise you, I will not prank you again. We can stop the pranks. You're ready to give you know it all saying? up. I'm down. You feel me? No, Stop. no, honestly, it's not even just this. It's not even just this situation. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking what? about how we just are not compatible. We're, we're not. literally two peas in a pot. You're my soulmate. You're my, my best friend. friend. We're two peas in a pot because you're my best friend. You are not my, you're not my soulmate. You're my best friend. Over a prank, you're going to say it's my soulmate? It's not over a prank. I'm just telling you that over time i've realized that like damn i just miss being best friends like i miss what? being best friends i don't feel easy was taking it too well she wasn't getting upset i think that's why natalie took that second and then she was like no nah, i gotta go harder so she just escalated things is that pluto on the back i wonder if he's asleep he's just not while they arguing Still like, best friends yeah that, it feels like just best friends i don't feel like i don't feel in love with you i Pluto's don't feel like i love back. you more than a best friend i feel like we're friends like, I, I need to be with somebody so, else. All over a prank, bro? It, I just like said it's, it's not just the prank. I've been thinking about this. Then why I don't you wanna, didn't leave? Because, like, I don't know. I knew that you loved me. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Like, so whatever you stay the case with me. Yes, for pity. I don't want to be with you. Like, you, you you don't do the things I need you to do for me. Like, like no. Like, you are not. Like, what? No, I just need, I need, I, it's what not else do you need? What, I, I don't need to be with a girl. I need to be with a man. I need to be with a man who will protect me. I need to be with... Once the man comparisons come out, there's nothing to say. Because women and men are not equal. Studs and men are not equal. And they don't want to be equal. You know, not all... Well, there's some studs out there who really think that they're men. But studs don't want to be men. They're comfortable in their female bodies for the most part. So once the man comparisons come out, it's just... It's over because... There's some things that a man can do for Natalie that Easy's just not gonna be able to do. So I feel like that one just, it hit her in the gut. Damn, damn, Natalie. The man She's going hard. who's not gonna like, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the stuff you be doing, it's just, no, it's just not working. So you don't say that, you need to be with a man. Like first and foremost, I can give you more than any man could ever give you. And I'm not talking See, about- See, that man comment hurt. I'm materialistic things, don't make it ever, ever compared to the love I give you. So don't over, don't sit over here and throw that shit in my face. For right, one. You can love me as your man, best friend. Man, no. Bro, that's that's rough. That's all over a prank. We've been doing this shit for it's years. It's not over the prank. We've been doing this for years. Pranks, bro, that's what it is. Like an eagle or what I mean, it can't be over a prank. It actually probably can't. Like you said, you've been thinking about this for what? You gonna you gonna go that low? That low? And that was the final call? Like bro, what? That's ruthless, bro. That's messed up, bro. I'm like, sorry. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I'm getting my chain. Can we no, still be best friends? Know. No, I'm going to go get my chain. And like, you so they did buy something. I was wondering if they actually bought something on that day, and she bought a chain. I wonder which length she ended up going with. Like, if you want an Uber, or I'll drop you off, bro. But bro, we're not being Uber. nothing. We're not being nothing. I'll drop you off, then, bro. You can't Uber. be my friend. <laughs> no, nothing. You're ruthless, bro. We're good as friends. No, we're not being friends. That's fucked up, bro. That's messed up, bro. Easy. Look at that, that <laughs> devious she... smile that Natalie got, cause she knows she got it. This Easy's prank was good, but this prank, if we're talking about getting people in the fields, Easy's definitely in her fields right now. He gets. That's what she gets. Easy, come here. Come here. Oh my God. Watch this. She ain't even expect me. That is how you do a prank war. Natalie didn't waste no time getting easy back. That was a really good video. If y'all enjoyed it as well, there's a link to the original video down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this reaction down below in the comment section as well. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps the video get out there so that more people can see it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.